Yo, what's good, y'all, young boys? My ebook is out for just ten dollars. You will have the best. Like y'all watch all my gameplays, you will have the best. Not the best, but you will have a scheme that very hard to stop. Big down two three six. Uh, like y'all see everything I got. I got. Like right now we have the we have the my whole dollar base defense in here to show you how to stop. You can stop inside zone. You can stop aggressive catching. Stop in bunch. Stop in four verticals. Stop in everything with blitzes that can that comes in block against Mac protects running backs. Then you got my big down two three six, which is my bed and butter. I just got everything. I got Mac protect. I got run D. I got everything, and I'm still gonna be updating it weekly because we ain't done yet. You know what I'm saying? So check out that link in the description right now to get y'all y'all freaking eat. You know what I'm saying? Only ten dollars. Y'all will be winning games more instantly. I promise y'all that. Let's hop into this video, man. Let's get it. Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? Your boy JML Flow bringing you another Madden 17 Nano Blitz. And be sure to check out my ebook link in the description. Uh, link in the description. I bring y'all exactly how I set up my defense, and it's only ten dollars. Exactly how I set my defense, exactly what adjustments I make, uh, exactly what base defense I run, what I use to stop this concept, what I use to stop bunch, what I use to stop verticals, what I use to stop base. What I used to stop counter stretch, everything's in there. And if y'all watch my gameplay, y'all know we savage on the defense. So be sure to check that out. But also be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and like. If even if you're new, please can y'all leave a like. Uh, even if you're not new, please leave a like because you've been rocking with me. Oh, but let's get into this blitz. Out of the three, four, or under is called the uh, sting pin zone. You don't want to flip it; just come out like this. And there's two ways you can run this. The first way is a real basic way. Uh, just base the line, shift your line to the left. Shift your linebacker to the left, crash your line to the left, drag that guy out, and the blitz is set up from there just like that. Uh, and then you can you can man a line if you want, because then these guys will come down, but then you'll show like you're in a man blitz, because like you see how everybody's even across the board, that kind of like gives it away. But like I said, uh, you can usually spot this guy out or zone him, but it makes it more inconsistent. Uh, and usually, the further you drag this guy out, the more likely it is to come in against a running back block. But if a running back isn't blocking, like y'all see right there, it's coming straight through with a running back block. But like I'm sure y'all one more time, base line, shift your line to the left, shift your linebacker to the left, crash your D line to the left, drag this guy out like right there, uh, and then you can zone it. Whoa, 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 whoa! All right, he goes here. Then you can zone this guy out. Like the more you drag that guy out, the more the running back won't pick him up. So when I when I put this guy in a flat, that's the only time I usually drag him out this far. But if not, I just drag him out like to right here or like right there. But now like I put that guy in a zone, then you want to drag him out. Like just like that. And y'all gonna see that how the heat just still comes through. We're only sending five people. Now like with J Mail, this was open, that was open. Uh the the out was open. But just do the same thing. But instead of pitting the guy in a flat, if someone's running a corner out on you, pit that guy in a purple. Like, look, problem solved. You see what happens when you make adjustments? Do you see what happens when you adjust? Man. Now let's see. Oh my goodness, the out is taken away and your user in the middle. Y'all see how easy it is when you make adjustments. But there is another way to run this blitz. This is my way. All you want to do is base a line. Same thing, shift your line to the left, linebackers left, crash him left, drag this guy out. But I like to re blitz this guy and man, then man this guy up and then pick that guy in a uh, flat. So now we send in less people and more coverage on the field, right? But then y'all like, well, J Mail, uh, hey, you, there's no way you can do that. Just use quick adjustments. Look, like if this guy was manned up and this guy was blitzing and this guy was blitzing, look, I can stay on this one user. And then I can do this, uh, I can do that, and then I can do that, and look, now it's set up. Just using quick adjustments. Like, you don't really need, like, you don't need the best blitzes out there. Y'all see how, I just like this way a lot better because, like, then you're not, like, uneven to another side. And it, like, it's this fast to set up the blitz. And then by that time, the blitz is already set up and there's nothing they can do about it. And then, like, they're making their adjustments, uh, and you just overload one side. It's causing hell. Like, look, we get two people free. Like I, but then the other way is faster like just doing this and then doing that and then zoning him out like you can do that if you want but like again it's just whatever you comfortable with like for real and then like whatever you i mean like like i said it's up to you i give y'all the blitz uh y'all need to make it happen like it's not fast to set up this blitz once you get used to the setup like look it's set up already and you can i mean i usually lead this guy blitzing because like i only use this blitz on like Okay, it's second and 15, or it's like third and 15. He can't go to the flats. Send this blitz, boom, come straight off the edge. Routes can't develop. 
Oh my god, I thought we were dancing to the end zone. But y'all see how I rock, bro. I told y'all I got y'all with the blitzes. Like I said, we got the 3-4 overs called the Sting Pin Zone. I'm not going to hold up too much of y'all time. I know it's Saturday night. Y'all got shit to do. Things to be out of, you know what I'm saying. Like I said, y'all see the blitz coming in. And if you don't want to put that guy in the flat. Oh, shit, my bad. All right, we're going to play over. You don't want to put that guy in the flat. Put him in the purple. If they throw him to the flats, put him in the flat. But it's up to y'all. And until then, it's your boy, J-Mail Flow, a.k.a. Mr. Let's Get It. Let's go.